So we're back at the hot compost. This is where it all started. This is the Elaine Ingham composting method. And boy, is this hot right now. It is off the charts on my worm thermometer. My regular compost thermometer is actually broken. It got broken in the move back to California. I didn't realize it until this morning when we were gonna take the temperature. So the worm thermometer doesn't go as high as I want to go, but it's off the charts. So come here, just watch what happens when you put it in. So right now, um, ambient temperature outside um, and my body holding it, you know, I'm around 90 degrees right now, but let's just put it in and see what happens. And now we're off the charts. So it's so hot, it goes right off the charts right right now. So we really need to start turning this. All right, so let's just do this. And what we're gonna do is we're going to put the outside on the inside and the middle on the outside. So the inside's gonna go to the outside, the outside's gonna go to the inside so we get an even burn and get everything in here decomposed. So this got way too hot, and now what you see there is not mycelium, what you see there is too much heat. So we'll be able to take this down, but this has lost some of its nitrogen already. You can see that right there. This is day three compost right here. And you can see where some of it has been too hot. Here it's gotten too hot. And it's very warm in here. But there are areas where it's getting too hot. In these areas where it's gassing off, we're losing the nitrogen. So this isn't good. This isn't good. Signs of this isn't good. That means it's too hot. I should have changed it this morning, but I didn't have time. <laughs> I was running around doing other things. So this is the real danger we run when we do this type of composting. Because there's no ceiling on the heat, we can easily go into higher temperature ranges. We might have something come up, our kids have something they need, our spouse, or you know, it 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 requires you to be there, to be there on time, to be checking with a thermometer that works. And many of us can't do that. Many of us can't always be turning the compost heap on time. And so we need a system that is a little bit more wiggle, a little bit more waggle, a little bit more room for us to do it here or do it there. There needs to be some tolerance levels. And that's why I love working with EM. That's why we're gonna do a compost heap with just EM. We're doing a compost heap with, a, with just like this, Kalaningham compost heap with a little extra manure and EM. So all these different things, all these different options are here to make it easier, less turning, less burning, more of the actual nutrition, the actual nitrogen reaching that plant. So this is what it's all about in many ways. Uh, it's not just nitrogen, it's a lot of things. So um, let's get back to it. Look at that. Already, already this looks like, like new soil. It smells really good. It no longer smells like horse manure. Can you see the steam that's coming off of this? Yeah. The steam is just pouring off of this. It's very hot. You know, this is 140 degrees right here. And it smells really amazing. It smells like a new forest being born. I love it. So the key next step for this pile is, I mean, it might have already gassed off enough nitrogen to be balanced. So we're just gonna keep going, we're gonna keep turning and keep it wet, keep it monitored with the heat, and, and get this to be beautiful, beautiful soil. And you'll see it happen. I mean, right here already, you can see it starting to happen. 
this is beautiful soil and it's only been three days. It's still hot, still in the breakdown process, but it's, it's breaking down right here, right now. So a lot of the green material, a lot of the brown material right there. And then another day, and then the day after, we will turn it again and it will look even more like soil. It is the thermophilic life, the fungi and the bacteria inside working at those temperatures that is breaking it down. It's not the heat, it is the life. So without the life, this wouldn't be happening. And without this aerobic reaction that we see in our bodies, in the soil and all these different things, we would not have oxidation oxidizing. We would not have the ability to use oxygen to clean things and to purify things and to strengthen things. So this is really incredibly important, a basic component of the natural world and the systems and the cycles of our world. So I wanted to show everyone this. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'm Matt Powers. Grow abundantly, learn daily, and live regeneratively.